What's up guys, I'm the EC Vlog, back in another vlog for you guys. Today vlog, Chester Food Race here, East Lane, I'm currently outside the ground. I can't remember, there's North Stand, I'm quite early to be honest, set off that. Just before half eight. Yeah. Today's game is going to be a very interesting game. That's the Chesterfield, our top of the league. Off the VC, we're just outside the playoffs. Yeah, we're two points outside the playoffs, and Chesterfield are eight points clear of top of the league with a game in hand. So, today's game it will be interesting to see on how we play because obviously Chris McGuire got injured last Saturday. Chesterfield, it's going to be a very tough game. See the flying hinds in the league, top of the league. Also, EC have not lost in the last three league games, which is a, a massive positive for us. Also, Chesterfield beat uh, Woking 2 0 in the last game, obviously, then lost to Southend. Most competition today, I go for. I, I, I think Chesterfield will win. I say 3 1, Chesterfield win. Get on it! Get on it! 
And there you guys end the vlog. AC Manchester lose three two after going three 0 down it was in the second half of twenty five minutes in. We managed to put it back to three two. We did manage to get their third goal, but Paul McCallum was offside. I wasn't surprised that we would have lost that game, but I would have taken a point away from home, especially against Chesterfield, obviously the top of the league. But I think Chesterfield in the first half had so many chances to go in front. One of them absolutely won the strike. I don't remember who it was, but McDonald made a fantastic fingertip save and hit onto the crossbar. And they kept kept attacking down our right hand side. And obviously getting the ball whipped in and didn't make nothing out of it. But that was early signs of the threat there. Obviously getting a goal from Chesterfield. But luckily we managed to hold on. But the first goal, well, unlucky. McDonald, it bounced off his head and it managed to go in. Ugh, it's unlucky for the first goal. The second goal was a counter attack from our attack we had. Playing the ball across the 18 yard box and gets intercepted from there. They went on a counter attack and scored. And the third goal is exactly the same. The counter attacked and they scored. Then two goals were unlucky to concede. But in the end, that's what happens when you leave your um, defence midfield wide open. And obviously, they managed to get the two goals. But we did pull it back, obviously, two goals. McCallum, great header. I'd marked in the box. Keeper just stood on his line and no chance saving it. And Quigley's goal, edge, edge of the 18-yard box. Keeper had no chance saving it either. The, the third goal was McCallum, another header. But it was offside, just offside. I think in the end, it was a fair result, 3-2. But if you did have Chris McGuire in this game, I think today's game would have been totally different. Hopefully he'll be back for... Our next game, Sunday, against Reading in FA Cup, which will be on TV. Hopefully he'll be back then, because against Reading, they have obviously a stronger side than us. But hopefully we could cause an upset and get into the third round. and be fantastic for Eastleigh, especially for the club, get into the third round and just get a big tie. But obviously, I will be going to that game against Reading. So if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a like, subscribe if you're new. I will see you next Sunday.